Hi, this is Miss Blatnick. Good evening. Welcome to Story Time with Chuck and Violet. Violet doesn't want a story today, so this is Chuck. And this is a perfect book for Chuck. He loves this one. Always in Trouble, written by Corinne Demas, and the pictures are by Noah Z. Jones. Always in Trouble. Emma's dog Toby was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. See that here, Chuck? On Tuesday, he ran into the road. And on Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. Sounds like somebody we know. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Something has to be done about that dog, said Emma's mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. She took him for walks. She brushed his fur and sang him silly songs. Where are you going, Chuck? Oh, you're just getting more comfortable. Don't knock over the camera, Chuck. But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. And on Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. Very good on Thursday. He was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. And on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and then ran across the clean kitchen floor. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to dog training school, said Emma. What a great idea, said Emma's mom. You coming back, Chuck, for the story? Come on. Come on. You can come back. The first class started the next day. There were 10 dogs in Toby's class. Some were big and some were little. Some barked, and some yipped, and some growled, and some whined. Toby was as quiet as a goldfish. You give him kisses, Chuck. He behaved perfectly at school every week, and he did everything just right. When Emma said sit, he sat. When Emma said come, he came. And when Emma said heel, he stood right by her side. He was the best dog, said Ms. Caps, the teacher, when the classes were all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a gold seal. Emma's mom tapped the diploma low down on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby. It's okay. But on Monday, <laughs> Toby got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just 
baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke everybody up. And on Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he dug up the petunias Emma and her mom had just planted. On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mother. Emma took him back to dog school. You like that one? Does he sit? asked Miss Katz. Yes, cried Emma. Does he come? asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he heal? asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Well then, what's the trouble? asked Miss Katz. So Emma told him, told her. I see, said Miss Miss Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave with me with him for the week. Okay, said Emma. Emma missed Toby all week, and he was very happy to see her when she picked him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. On Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. But no dog can be perfect always, not even Toby. What happened here? Oh no, he ate right through the book. Chasing a squirrel. Bye Chuck, bye kids. See you next time.